Hello crafty friends! My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And welcome, or perhaps welcome back, to my channel. Each month I stop by and share a look with you at what came in my P.O. box for the month. Most of the time this is a show us your sheet load feature, but other times I get little cards and packages just because. If you're ever interested in sending a card for the end of the month video or finding out more about how to show us your sheet load online, I do have an updated guidelines video in the description box below. If you're just wanting to send a card to say hello, my P.O. box is at the bottom of that description box. Before I get started opening this month's mail, I do want to remind you that if you are a die cut or paper trimmer level channel member, that tonight we will be having our monthly channel member live. And it is going to be a fun color cube challenge theme where we will create with a color cube kind of of our choice after we narrow it down. And then you can enter your card to win a fun prize. If you're not already a channel member or a die cut or paper trimmer level channel member, you can find out more about those levels by clicking on the join button below this video or the link down in the description box. I am so grateful for all of my supporters who keep me creating here on YouTube and help keep Sheetload of Cards free for all subscribers. Another fun thing I wanted to share with you, um, I went to my P.O. box and to mail some stuff last week and I always like to look at what new stamps they have and you guys how fun are these? They look like little buttons. They're even die cut in a round shape. And on the back, it actually looks like pin backs. I was so excited about these. Let me know if you've gotten some for yourself. And if you receive mail from me in the next couple months, you might see one of these on your envelopes. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what came in my P.O. box this month. Up first is a card from my bestie Danny, who shares here on YouTube at the Danny's Dreams YouTube channel. We met for a belated birthday lunch for her, and she sent me this adorable thank you card after that. I just love those little chameleons in the Polaroid frames. Janice J. from Maine sent me this mini slimline card featuring the September 2024 sheet load layout and a fun little owl. If you didn't know it, my nickname from one of my brothers is Hoot because he thought when I was little I looked like an owl with my glasses on. Well, here recently and totally unrelated, I'm like, you know what? I want to create a little owl icon for myself. So I put some prompts into my Photoshop AI generator and up on screen now is the image I got. Let me know what you think about it. Does it look crafty? Lori K. from Minnesota also used the September 2024 sheet load for her card, and she went with a thank you theme. On the inside, she says sheet loads are addicting, but in a good way. Agreed, Lori. Sandra J. from Washington sent me this cool and fun card. I love that layout she's created for the background and the cute little Gus and Gertie image from T.E. Also inside was just the sweetest note from Sandra and a gift for me. Thank you so much, Sandra. Stephanie M., one of my crafty friends from Germany, sent in this card using the September 2024 sheet load. And just like her card says on the front, she is one of my faves too. Deborah S. from Illinois sent in this quality card featuring some very cool alcohol ink paper and that gorgeous koala ephemera on the front. I wanted to try to show in this video there's like a coating on parts of it and it almost looks like it's created with like mosaic pieces. So neat. Barb S. from Florida sent in two cards this month. On the left is one where she created with the July 2024 sheet load. I'm so glad you went ahead and gave it a try, Barb, even though that size isn't your favorite. And over on the right, she used the most recent sheet load for this neat fall card. I want to know, is that a leaf you made like textured cardstock with? It had such a neat texture. Robin T. from Colorado sent in quite a few sheet loads this month. On the left is a groovy piece card using September 2024. And the three on the right she rewound to September of 2022. 
I have a feeling she was inspired by my recent class with Not Too Shabby, where I went back and revisited some older mini slimline editions. Robin said she had fun finding different toppers to go on those mini tent topper cards. And speaking of groovy cards, I went live on Friday to play with some bonus surprise SVGs I gave to my channel members where I created these backgrounds and sentiments to make your own cards with. If you weren't able to be there live or if you haven't caught the replay, I will link it down in the description box below. If you're a channel member, make sure to check out the membership tab so you can download your SVGs so you can make some groovy cards too. Kathy L. from South Dakota sent me two cards this month. The one on the left had a wonderful note inside. Kathy, I just wanted to let you know that I hope you enjoy your transition to Stampin' Up! and good luck. Over on the right, she created a beautiful kind of winter Christmassy card using the September 2024 sheet load. In Kathy's package was a note that the only thing she didn't like about this month's sheet load was that she doesn't have envelopes to fit it. You can see here that she sent a regular slimline size envelope and she wanted to know if there was a way to make one for this size without a punch board. So I just wanted to take a minute in case you're having that problem, not really a problem, but in case you um, want to know the same. I don't make envelopes for mine. What I do in any of your big box stores, Walmart, Target, office supply stores, even the Dollar Tree, there is like a standard business size envelope that you can buy. And I just get these, they're called number six and three quarters, but I get 40 at the Dollar Tree for, well, $1.25 now. And these are actually, they already have adhesive on them, so they're all ready to just close and seal. So if you didn't know what to do or how to send your slimline cards, I hope that you'll check these out. Thank you so much to everyone who took the time to send in a card and note this month, and especially to Sandra for the nice gift. Again, if you would like to show us your sheet load and be featured in the end of the month video, make sure to check out that guidelines video linked below. And until tomorrow, when I'll be back with the October 2024 sheet load of cards, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.